I've been playing a mixture of games, and one of which was very kindly provided by yourselves, and very kindly provided, uh, I believe, by the good folks. I'm not sure how you got hold of it, I'm fair as I'm going to say. The game is Among Trees. Pop Sims, agenda. how did you get it? Pop, Pop Agenda. Pop Thank agenda. you very much, Pop Agenda. Pop agenda. Uh, I've uh, played about five hours of Among Trees. It's a PC game that was released last year on the epic game store with exclusivity and has recently dropped on steam uh, it was a beta up until recently um if you aren't aware of the game it is stunningly beautiful um the colors are wonderful it's all blues and yellows and everything basically you are it's a first person game um where you are basically in the middle of a forest you've got a little cabin with very little in it and you're basically just told go outside get your stuff and survive uh so go looking for food pick up like there's loads of mushrooms and plants and raspberries and all sorts of stuff there's a river where there's water hello is there a narrative reason why you're in this forest doing things very little it's a nice okay. place to be go and live okay. your life <laughs> it, it doesn't bother with narrative or giving you okay. anything like that. all the up to a point and i'm going to get to the point where the where i think unfortunately they don't quite like stick the landing okay but um it's you go off and you explore and it is very much the case of just pick a direction go in whichever you want like one way there's a river they're surrounded by rocky mountains there's um like rabbits running around all the places loads of like electricity pylons that you sort of just randomly there and if they're there there's probably boxes and things where you can pick up bolts and little bits and pieces giving you a hint as to where the game's going. There's boxes you can't open, some that require an axe. And basically, you're picking up bits and pieces that you've got to get back and craft. So you've got to like expand your room and make it your cabin and give yourself a crafting room so you can build things like your axe and a fishing rod and what have you. Uh, all the way through the game, which has got like a day and night cycle, it's like each day, you've got, um, you've got to keep yourself well-fed, well-watered, um, got like an overall heart thing you, if you're getting tired if you're too cold um so you're constantly trying to balance this so you, you you're being told basically go and explore but if you go too far you might not make it back to the cabin in time and you'll die if you uh, if you don't uh it's like if it's too cold so you're constantly like going oh if i eat this this will give me a bit of health and it'll also warm me up a bit um and for the most part it's just you go off and explore it. It's very nice. Plays very bluff. Lovely music. Really like atmospheric sounds and everything. Um, there are threats out there. I.e., there's bears. Oh, there, watch out for them bears. Not bears. Yeah. <laughs> you can avoid bears, but <laughs> uh, as someone who's died twice to a bear in this game, um, if they smell you, there's no avoiding them. <laughs> or at least, or can at you least outrun them. In, no, oh, no. <laughs> not not at the level of the game where I am at the moment. Anyway, I end up with a bear on top of me, ripping me to shreds. Um, but most of the time, there's no threat. It did start to feel a bit aimless. It was like I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm I can see that I can make food. I can go. I want to get enough to get this. Um, what did I, I wanted to get my cooking station set up first? So I was like, okay, I need to go and get enough pieces for that. So I've got to go and find some driftwood. Okay, I'll go down to the river. I'll get some water to refresh myself from the river, and I'll get this driftwood. And I was starting to build that up, and I felt like, oh, I've got the choice of which room I'm going to build first. That's where I'm going to go. I thought like, I'll get food. Then it's like I'm going to get my crafting station so I can start building my tools. So I've wandered off, and I'm going to looking for all my bits and pieces. And I'm having a good time with that because it, all of a sudden it's like, ah, now I've I've got enough to build my crafting room. The crafting room, just before then, I was starting to get a bit bored because I was sort of, you don't know. You go off in a direction, you have no guarantee what's going to be there. So I could spend ages walking in that one direction and not come across any of the stuff I need. There's no guarantee I'm going to hit a, a pole. I'm going to have to wander around. So I was seeing like whole days disappearing, and all I'd really managed to do is pick up a few button mushrooms and some raspberries, and got sl and then had to leg it back before I died of hypothermia. And then I got I managed to find a uh, an area with lots of bits of debris, and it was enough to build my crafting table. And that's just opened the game up. Because all of a sudden I can build a compass, I can make a map, I can get a canteen for water, 
like make an axe, the fishing rod, all this other stuff. And it's like, okay, well, that means I can go further afield. I can survive longer. I'm loving it. It's brilliant. But the bit where I say I don't know whether they've stuck the landing is I wake up one morning, open my door, and there's this cute-ass little fox sitting outside. And it's like, oh, that's sweet. Don't and it's like, you can... <laughs> Pardon? Don't trust that fox. Uh, well, it's a very cute fox, and, and it says you can pet the fox. Pet so the you fox. go and you stroke the pet the fox, and the po- and the fox is going to be your friend. It's going to be your pet, it and it will go and find things for you. Only problem is, it then flashes up, make sure you feed your pet in the next oh, three days. They need to feed at least once. They like fish. So that's the game telling me, you need to get a fishing rod. You yeah. need to go fishing. Go and do this. I'm like, I was enjoying being able to choose what I was doing. Now I've got this cute ass... Can you unfriend? Can you unfriend I, exactly. him? Well, I want the fox, but I don't um, want the fox to be dependent on me. Yeah, <laughs> and now I feel another like, fox. I've got to go and look after this fox. I have a question like... regarding the fox. <laughs> go on. Can you eat the fox? Uh, I haven't got anything to kill anything oh, with I'm yet. Oh, just a big rock. Bare hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. There's no violence in this game. And no, I, don't, I don't even know. Oh, hold on. Let's go back to the bear be... <laughs> devouring you. Uh, I am going to be able to hunt, I believe, at some point. So at some point, I'm going to be able to like kill animals. I okay. presume like, these rabbits are going to get it. But yeah, yeah. And those bears. So you said you said there's no narrative that keeps you there. Is there like something on the hill that's supposed to like you got to get to here? Like nope. is there there's there's no like main objective to get to. Nope. It's just survive. It's tranquil and enjoy the ride. Quite they describe it as like a zen like experience and I completely get that. It's very nice to wander around and just do it at your own pace. That's why it was a bit wrenching when it suddenly found like, no, 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 now you need to go get the stuff for the fishing rod because your fox is gonna die. Um so that that bit was a bit uh, uh, threw me a bit, to be honest. They just kind of uh, threw a kid at you. you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, deal with this. Hey, you got to take care of this now. I'm like, what the fuck? But, but generally, I really like it. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to be supported going forward. If you follow the um, like the talk about the game online and you look at Twitter and everything, because um, I wanted to sort of get a bit of a feel of, like, is this the way it's going to go? And there was a lot of people talking about abandonware and, like, they're, oh, they're not really doing anything. But the developers on Twitter every couple of months go, no, no, we're still working on the game. We're going to get it out. It's going to get released on other systems, on, uh, maybe on other systems, and it's coming to other storefronts, i.e. Steam. Um, and we're working on the update. We're just concentrating on the update, but they're not really like giving you any information about it so some people are a bit suspect about how far it's going to be supported i mean i, mean, I with i think stardew valley is quite the same like they just go really quiet and then next minute it'll be like boom here's all well, this that's stuff. What I'm hoping. i think that's what yeah. will happen especially if if, if it seems if they at least they're coming out of the woodwork every couple of weeks and going look you know chill out man let's just we're gonna sort this out for you but we're busy like this i'm guessing there's about six of them in one room yeah it's a small team by the look of it i think i think they need to step up their twitter game though just to reassure people a bit and go Mm. okay it's fine the other thing that i will say and obviously whenever i've come on this i've always talked about how much i love vr this game needs needs to come to vr to be in that wood doing that stuff i would be so happy they've got no plans to do it according to their faqs Please, if it's at all possible, if any like major team takes it on and go, okay, well, we'll do a version for you. This game would be beautiful in VR. It would, it really would. It would work so well. Um, no, I, I highly recommend it. It's not an expensive game, but yeah, I'm going to play more of it. I'm going to see if this fox leads me down the wrong path. But I, yeah, no, it's really, 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 really good. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to try it. I do recommend it. Um, yeah, check it out. It's not going to break the bank, I don't think, but it's you'll have a good time with it. Regarding the the like, you know, let's say hypothetically fifty hours in, what what would it look like? Bigger, bigger a house, loads of equipment. Would, yeah, like you can do your house up. You can really do like yeah, decorations yeah, yeah. and really make it your own. Uh, at which point you'd be like cooking all sorts of yeah, stews, so you'd just be making speaking, all sorts. Of, not yeah. worrying about dying and like having a woolly coat no. and stuff, like, stuff like that. I'm guessing. The game it reminds me the most of is, have you played Raft at all? Yes, I played Raft. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, Raft. Yeah. Uh, you get in your bits and pieces and you're like, oh, I'll make myself a bigger place than yeah, this and I'll go I and like do that. It. It's got that vibe. 
um, to it, but with slightly less peril. And uh, any closing thoughts on the game? <laughs> uh, I'd like to see it come to consoles. I'd like to see them eventually. I, I think it'd be, do very well on the Xbox. It's the sort of thing, if it came on Game Pass, it'd kill. I can't um, believe it's not. I'm looking at the couple pictures of it right now. The game looks absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the sound is brilliant. Um, it has had a, I've had a couple of weird crashes early on, but for the last three or so hours, it's not. I've not really had any problems with it at all. It's, it's, it's a nice place to be. To, um, two final questions yeah. for myself. Um, wh where, what did you play it on? And what kind of like um, I don't know gobbin gobbins have you got in it? Like graphics card processor, etc. And uh, what was the, what would you score it as? Um, I played it just uh, using my shadow PC. Uh, okay. I don't think it's particularly tasking game anyway, so I don't think people are going to struggle to run it. Um, but yeah, very very pretty anyway. Um, so it's it's mouse and keyboard. I think. People have said you can play it with a controller if you use like the Steam big picture mode. It will do it. Um, and I imagine with the, the limited controls I've had so far, because I'm not that far into it yet, I could imagine mapping that to a keyboard, uh, to a controller and having a good time. Um, when you get more skills and stuff, maybe not. But uh, now in terms of... It's a healthy seven in the early days, but it could get more. Seven? I don't really got seven. I wouldn't seven. Ooh. Out of oh, 10. Man. Just clarify. Yeah, yeah. Not out of 100. Oh, it's no. very good. <laughs> out of 100. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, it's a healthy 7. Could develop good. into something more. Good game. Fantastic. I will update you again if I can. <laughs> At some point. Can we just give, yeah. um, give uh, Chris a massive round of applause? Because he smashed that as well. Really, That was amazing. Like, here we go, man. Job, Did some research. Like, we had some notes, man. I like, really appreciate that, man. I'm really... Oh, man. Tear to my eye, man. Go and play Let's this game, children.